I am sorry to hear of your father's death. It was peaceful. Well, we can wish for no more. No more than wishing my life to continue in peace. Your mother is someone I assume he met on his plantation. I did not know my mother. She was sold shortly after my birth. You were given your freedom. Earned my freedom. In New Orleans, you will see iron wrought into vines decorating each building. I instituted that factory. Taming base metal into flowers, I have a talent for alchemy. Oh, you're an impressive man. All the more reason why you must resolve this present situation. I'm not extolling my virtues, I'm stating my rights. You wrote all men are created equal. You, New Orleans is now part of the United States. Those words are law. Well, unfortunately, my words are not part of the Constitution. The Constitution is where we keep the law. Well, where do you keep the laws on slavery? Well, the Constitution doesn't really mention slavery. My words were merely part of a declaration to a king telling him what we wanted. Should I then write a letter to you declaring my desire? I could imagine what that would be. And would I be wrong? Slavery is a terrible thing. Then bring back these men and advise them. Started so simply. People in the Carolinas growing cotton, tobacco, sugar, coffee. People around the world wanting our crops. Demand increases. We need to expand Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky. Not enough people living here to work the land, to tend, to harvest, who can endure the heat. We have to import workers, and that's how it starts. It grows and grows and grows. You make African affairs sound like a stroll through the market. It is a market. It's a crazed market. Have you ever seen a man addicted to opium? So it is with the world, addicted to our produce. We're all addicts. We need more slaves, the world needs our goods. We need money to build a capital, a house for the president to live in, to buy Louisiana. We live off the labors of those possessions and can't let go. We're slaves to slavery. You keep slaves and hate slavery. Are you a hypocrite? Jesus, who one said is the kindest man who ever lived. We weren't talking about Jesus. When defending oneself, one always quotes Jesus. 